beautiful Sagittarians, welcome to my channel. This is Baba Jolie here with your mid-month check-in. I'm just cleansing your space here and I've meditated on your cards. For those of you who are returning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for all your wonderful likes, shares and subscribes. I'm truly grateful for all your beautiful energy. Just a little reminder that this is a general reading. It may not resonate for everybody, so please take what is for you and leave the rest behind. This is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, just so you're aware. Also, just to remind you that there are scammers about at the moment, uh, people pretending to be both me and other tarot readers. Uh, they're offering uh, personal readings for, uh, to take money off you, but they never actually deliver the, the reading, apparently. Um, so just to let you know and remind you, I will never take your money. I do not have WhatsApp. I do not have PayPal. I do not have an assistant. I don't have Patreon. I don't want your money. I want to give my um, gift away for free, my beautiful Sag. Um, even the competition, it's free to enter and free to win and receive the reading. So just be mindful. If someone pretending to be me, or it even looks like me because they're taking my photo, they're, uh, they're taking, um, they can even use, I don't know how it works, but they managed to take the name of the channel as well. So weird. Um, I'm sure, I'm, not, I'm wondering why uh, the algorithms have not found this out. But anyway, it's not just happening to me, it's happening to everyone. So just be mindful of that. Now, anyway, let's leave them behind and let's get straight to your um, mid-month check-in, my beautiful Sag. Thank you so much, spirit guys, great angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Sagittarians? Oh, wow. Uh, I don't know if you saw that. Um, I hope they caught it on camera. But um, I actually... Uh, saw uh, uh, so, uh, a spark of light uh, come over here and just, uh, I hope you caught it, just right in the corner there. So please take it. If you've seen it, let me know. Uh, well, actually, I'm going to check the, the video afterwards. Uh, it sort of traveled in that. It was kind of um, orangey. Anyway, let's uh, let's see if it was on the in the camera. Sometimes it gets, gets caught on camera, like I did a wonderful reading a couple of months ago, and the, the, the sage there was moving. It was great. Um, so we got the chariot card. This is a successful energy moving on up, okay? I definitely feel like there is um, motivation here, uh, ambition. I feel like there's drive to move forward. Sag, I feel like you've been stuck for a while. And I feel like, um, especially with this pandemic, I feel like you're the wanderer of the, the Zodiac. And I feel like you just want to get out there. You want to just explore the world again, um, not have any travel restrictions. And I also feel like, you know, you just... Um, you want to realize your potential, okay? And I feel like there's a lot of ambition, a lot of drive after a long period of feeling like either you don't know what to do or you're giving up hope or uh, direction after a couple of months. I just feel like your mojo was sort of lacking for a little while. Um, and um, I feel like now you're starting to almost shift the cobwebs a little bit and sort of think about like getting out there and... Um, rising up within your career. I feel like this, this the chariot card often means um, overcoming obstacles, um, getting back on the horse if you feel like uh, you've had some sort of reje rejection there. Um, it is about you taking charge, action, change, perhaps even going on a, a vacation, uh, planning something to look forward to. Um, I feel also that whatever you've planted, the seeds that you've planted, whether they are just ideas in your mind or you've actually physically worked on something, I feel like they're going to blossom. I feel very much like there is potential here for growth. Um, these seeds are going to... Can I put that? Yeah, I feel like whatever you've planted so far is taking root, real root, and starting to sprout. It's actually going to develop in a very unexpected way. and. Um, yeah, I feel like you're, manif you're manifesting your dreams and your goals. They're coming towards you and you're meeting them halfway. I feel like there's a, a really exciting energy about this. Uh, now, we've also got the devil card. Oof. Okay. Now, this is the um, antagonist position. If you want to get a devil card, and you don't really want to get a devil card, but if you do get it in your reading, you want it in this position that it's shown up in, the resistance position. Okay. You're releasing any negativity. Now, that could be procrastination because they're giving me that word right now, procrastination. If you felt like you were in a waiting kind of energy, you may have felt like uh, there was nothing really that you could do, um, but you may feel like you did not have the opportunity to take action on anything. So you may have conceive this as um, procrastination. They're actually giving me, it was an opportunity for you to rest, Sag, and they want you to recognize that. Uh, but the devil card in this position indicates um, that there is detachment, there is freedom, 
okay? And there is opening yourself up to opportunity, uh, not being so obsessed about things and sort of um, being vulnerable to what the universe has to offer. I feel also that um, you're releasing the uh, sort of illusion of fear, anything that's been holding you back, that you felt like you were helpless to change your situation. I feel like you're leading with authenticity here and you're walking forward to meet your goals and your dreams head on. No more fear. Also, I feel like, and I'm, I'll have to pull a card on this energy, but I feel like there was someone here that is really going to show you their true colors. They're taking their mask off, but I feel like you saw be, beyond their mask for a long time. We will clarify that energy. We've got the full card and we got the lovers. Look at that. So the full card here is a wonderful new start. It's in the unified position. So I feel um, there's new pathways, uh, fresh hope opening up to you. I feel like there's a lot of potential here for you to succeed in a new area, whether that is in career or whether it is in love. You're taking that leap of faith and I feel like you're gonna be very successful. This card reminds you to have faith that anything is possible, but you release the attachment to the journey. So again, this card is in this position for a reason. You're detaching yourself from the outcome. You're not obsessing about the outcome. Well, we've got some energy joining with this candle. Uh, sorry, they're just giving me something, woman, please. Now, whether this song came up in your reading last time, but I feel like this song has appeared before, they're giving me a song which is um, Stand and Deliver. Stand and Deliver. Now, I feel like this uh, Stand and Deliver was perhaps by someone called Adam Ant. Stand and Deliver. Is that right, Spirit? They're not giving me anything uh, so maybe I got it wrong I'm not sure uh, they will clarify um, I guess but they're just giving me that song stand and deliver so if that is something that you are uh, listening to at this moment in time or uh, the lyrics of that particular song um, resonates for you in any way I will look it up after this reading and I'll pop it in the comments box below um, but the full card indicates um, you know you started to lose a little bit of hope there or you started to become a little bit cynical that maybe things are not going to change um, and you may have felt a little bit fed up like your energy was waning like there was like oh, what's the point kind of energy but I feel like you're starting to find that mojo again and you're starting to be curious about life opening up I feel like there's definitely a light at the end of the tunnel there now we got the lover's card. Now the lover's card is a, a, a card of partnership, but also of choice. I feel like you're following your heart. There's a decision to be made here, of course, because the lover's card is the choice card, but there's unification, there's harmony. There's harmony in relationships, both the ones that you work in um, and also the ones uh, that you're hoping to um, sort of partner up with. I feel like this is about finding your soul tribe in terms of business, uh, you know, following your heart into a, a partnership, whether that is just um, an entrepreneurial partnership or whether it is you partnering up with a company. Uh, I feel like these people have a similar goal or a sort of want, desire th that you do. And I feel like there's a lot of strength in you all banding together to create something really wonderful. Um, I feel also that if you're looking for love, Sag, I feel like there's an opportunity here um, to uh, move towards some sort of loving union there. Now, they're just indicating, uh, this is not gonna speak to everybody, uh, so please take it as it resonates. They're just indicating that someone saw um, like something out of the corner of their eye, like a shadow um, or something like that. Um, they're just indicating that um, uh, I feel like it's a family member of yours that uh, is just dropping on in to sit with you and listen. Uh, it's a really wonderful energy, just to let you know. Uh, that's not going to speak to everybody, of course. Uh, please take it only if it resonates. If you, when you're listening to this reading, it happened when you were listening to this reading. Okay, uh, just so you're aware. Now let's go and get the details. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Foreign Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Sagittarians? What do they need to know regarding... Ooh, okay. We have... I just to let you know I'm using the Good Tarot uh, by Kellett Baron Reed. You only read the uprights in this deck, okay? We got the Hermit card, Solitary Energy. We have the Two of Water, Partnerships. Uh, we have the Hangman. Uh, we have the King of Fire there. We also have the Moon card. We got the Empress. And we got the Six of Water. This is why we got a choice, Sag. We got a choice for a reason, okay? Um, th there's an indication here that perhaps someone from your past is returning. I know. I know you don't want to talk about it. 
I don't want to talk about the past, but unfortunately, this card keeps showing up, the Six of Water, okay, uh, which is the Six of Cups. Now, I will read it because I'm getting two energies here, so I, I will read it separately there, just to let you know, um, but I'm getting one energy of someone from your past returning. Uh, I will clarify the energy, but I'm also getting a secondary energy, which is a longing for the good old days. Okay, a longing of, you know, that sort of nostalgia of when things were good, when things were, were right. So I feel like that's part and parcel of how you've been feeling that, um, like things are kind of in some way, maybe going back to some sort of normal, um, but it's not, of course, it will take a while, uh, but I feel like you're longing for that. Uh, anyway, let's read the energy. We got the Hermit. So the Hermit is a solitary energy. There's a lot of introspection here. I feel like um, you're not really wanting to be distracted by the outside world. You may have wanted to take a lot of time out for a while just to focus on silence or your own thoughts. Um, I feel like, gosh, they did, and I'm not sure if it was your reading, Sag, or whether it was someone else's, but they're saying, this came up again. Um, they're just saying ghost key, ghost key. And they're showing me this key again. Now, ghost key, I did look it up after the reading, the last reading. I'm not sure if it was for your sign or whether it was for Gemini or something, but the ghost key, um, I couldn't really understand it, to be honest, because I'm not really very uh, good with technical things. Um, but it's something about um, the keys on your laptop, perhaps, or your uh, computer, where you're typing lots of things. And if you type lots of things all at once, it doesn't resonate. It doesn't actually sort of give you the letters because they think that, it's like a ghost key. It's not giving you the letters or something. Uh, see, I can't even explain it because I really don't understand it. And I thought, you know what? I don't need that in my life. What is a ghost key? So I just kind of dismissed it, uh, which I probably should have done because now it's coming up again. Um, but the Hermit card is a Virgo energy. I feel like you're in a solitary reflective kind of mood, okay? I feel like you may have cut yourself off from a, a few people for a while. And um, I feel like you're coming out of that. Now, what happens with the Hermit? There's a long journey. Uh, before the hermit takes themselves out of the game for introspection. So you may have felt fed up, tired with the journey, a little bit jaded for a little while. So you've really had to reassess what's going on in your life because you want to move forward and you felt very stagnant. It's almost like, can we regroup? Can we get a new plan? Okay. Now the two of water, in terms of business, I'm going to read it in business first and then in love, but the two of water indicates partnership again. Okay, so I feel like you will be partnering up with the right people or the right person if you're getting your own business off the ground there in an entrepreneurial sense. I feel like this person really appreciates who you are, um, really appreciates what you have to offer. I feel like there's a deep like love and respect there and I feel like this is a long-term thing um, in terms of partnership for your business. Uh, I feel like it's going to be very, very fruitful. There's just a lot of harmony. You and this person, you just work together in sync. Okay, I just feel like everything moves in sync with this person. You complement each other really well. Now, this could be uh, not just in terms of a person. It could be in terms of a company. I feel like you fit this um, really well. Um, also, right now, they're just indicating uh, I touched here because there's a lot of pain here. Okay, they're giving me someone's got a, a lot of pain. I don't know um, what that is, but um, uh, could it be? Uh, well, they're giving me a uh, carpal tunnel. At first I was like carpal, yeah, carpal tunnel. Carpal tunnel, okay. Um, I'm not sure. When I think of a tunnel, I think of a train, right? Or a, uh, anyway, uh, I don't know what that is, but uh, we're just um, carpool, maybe you're carpooling and you're going through a tunnel and it's hurting. I'm not sure. Uh, please take it as it resonates. I'm not sure what that is. Uh, but anyway, we're. Uh, it's a pain right here, okay? And it's... Um, it's really hot to touch as well. That's what they're giving me. Uh, so if that's you, there's something in this message for you. But we have the hangman, okay? Uh, you waited a long time for the right opportunity. I feel like, Sag, that you really are thinking about getting your own business off the ground or trying to be an influencer in your world. Um, and I feel like the hangman, you've waited a long time for this. I feel like you sacrificed a lot for your career and also for love, but I'll come to that. I feel like you're surrendering to the process here. Uh, when there was downtime, you may have felt like uh, you were procrastinating, but uh, spirit indicates you were not because what you think about, you really uh, bring about. Like attracts like. So a reflection of whatever was in your mind, you're actually manifesting new opportunities, okay? 
So I feel like um, there is wonderful um, turning your visions into reality using inspired action. So even though you felt like you were doing nothing, the stars are actually aligning to bring you whatever it is that you want. Now, the King of Fire is an Aries energy, but I feel like you're embodying this spirit, Sag, of being a bold leader, being courageous and moving towards, um, you know, a, an opportunity or a, maybe a boss type position. Maybe you're going in towards a, a position that has more responsibility there. You're leading with your heart. I feel like a lot of people look to you because you are leading with integrity and you are leading with your heart. You're a natural born leader, even if you don't want to be. You just naturally have that um, in, inherent um, sort of goodness about you to do what is right and to lead with truth and integrity. And I feel like that shows. You also wear, um, I feel like also you wear your heart on your sleeve when it comes to your ideas and uh, things being for the greater good for you and other people to raise each other up. Uh, I feel like you would be a very good leader. So if you're being an entrepreneur or you're, uh, you know, trying to get that sort of job off the ground, if there's a, because it may be about some sort of secondary opportunity, you may be actually working in a sort of nine to five kind of job, just paying the bills, but you may be trying to get something else off the ground there in terms of something for yourself, entrepreneurial position. Uh, I feel like it's going to be very, very successful. There's a lot of passion driving this and I feel like um, you're rising up. Now, in terms of the moon, the moon card is there. They're actually giving me the 27th. Now, they gave me this uh, the 27th in uh, the Taurus reading, I think it was. It was a Taurus reading, yeah. Um, or maybe it was Leo. Um, but they, they're giving me 27th is um, some sort of good news day. Something comes to light. There's a, a clarity here. Uh, I feel like there's illumination. There's a metamorphosis here for you. And I feel like um, you've learned a lesson that actually um, it's about the fear, you know, taking that leap of faith. There, it's almost like you acknowledging the fear, feeling that fear and doing it anyway, taking that leap of faith because there's a new opportunity here that's very, very exciting. Okay, um, now we got the Empress card. The Empress is an interesting one, male or female, not a gender specific reading. It's about uh, the energy and this is an energy of creation. Okay, inspiration, creation, but also whatever you have sown, whatever seeds you have sown so far, it's about them coming to fruition, taking root and sort of growing in, growing exponentially in unexpected ways. I also feel like there's a new version of yourself. You know your self-worth, you know what you truly deserve, and I feel like you're magnetizing the right opportunities towards you. You're not putting up with any uh, BS here, okay? The Empress um, stands in her power, and she knows that she is deserving, so therefore she doesn't have to actively seek. She's already set intention, and then everything flows uh, towards her. So it's about setting intentions. So I, that's what I feel like you've been doing during that, uh, that downtime. Okay. Uh, it's going to be very, very fruitful time for you. We do have a six of water. So this is a, a, an interesting one in terms of career because they were highlighting that there's either some sort of uh, either a person you used to work with or a friend that you lost touch with. It could even be an old place of work reaching out to you. Uh, that's what I'm picking up on this energy now. I'm reaching out to you to offer you another position. Um, now, you may think momentarily about the good old days, but remember those rose-tinted glasses? There were some bad old days there too. Uh, so just be mindful of that. But I'm just going to pull a card on that energy because I feel like someone from your past is going to give you an opportunity. It doesn't always mean a six of water that someone from your past is returning and they're a lover. It could be a friend. It could be, uh, you know, uh, an ex-teacher. It could be, uh, you know, an old work colleague. Uh, it could be anything there. So uh, let's clarify this uh, return card. Thank you. Whoa. How would you like to receive? Thank you so much. Some of you haven't spoken to for a while. Okay. Um, this person, uh, they may have some sort of happy news for you. Okay. Uh, this person, um, I'm going to pull a card on that Ace of Swords because I just... As soon as I picked it up, I feel like this is someone you haven't talked to for a while. Um, not that they are uh, kind of an unkind person. I don't, I don't feel like that. Let's clarify that energy. Can you please clarify the Ace of Swords for my beautiful Sagittarians? What do they need to know? I mean, you may have felt like the fact that they haven't reached out for a while. You may have felt it was kind of not acceptable. Uh, by that, I mean... Um, they didn't reach out and ask you how you were. 
So, but they're coming on in with an opportunity. The Four of Pentacles indicates this is a long-term opportunity. Uh, th there's a financial opportunity here that um, leads to like a long-term position. This person hasn't talked to you for a while, but the, the Sun card indicates it's a successful opportunity. Uh, there'll be a lot of positivity and joy around it, but I feel like you will still continue to do something for yourself. There's something here that will help you be very successful for yourself. Can you please guide my beautiful Sagittarians? Oh. How would you like to receive? Thank you so much. Uh, we have the Hermit again, and we have the Two of Swords. So they're indicating choice that you may have to make a compromise, um, either because I feel like whatever it is that you're doing alone, that you're focusing your um, your skill set on and being rising up there in confidence, I feel like this is going to be very, very successful. Okay, so there will come a point that maybe you cannot do the two together. Uh, the opportunities for so for example you won't be able to do the job and your own business because you're going to be so successful at your own business so that's the energy that I'm getting here you may have to make a compromise oh we've got a little bit of energy joining there it's quite electric the energy uh, right now um, so that is what they're giving me um, in terms of career let's go to love and see what's happening there for you my beautiful Sag uh, if I'm reading this in terms of love, um, the solitary energy, there is new love coming on in here. There's a potential for you to uh, be with someone for the long haul, but you will have a choice. I do feel like there is someone from your past returning, but it could, as I said, be an ex-work colleague who reveals feelings for you. There's a reveal here. Now, this person could have Aries placements. They could have Taurus placements. Um, also, there could be some water there as well in their chart, Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer energy. But let's clarify this energy. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. I feel like they're not like twin flame. I feel like they could be a soulmate. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Sagittarians? What do they need to know? Queen of Inspiration. This person finds you super attractive. Knight of Voices. Oh my gosh. Interesting. Uh, this person... Um, can you please clarify the three of voices for my beautiful Sag? What do they need to know about the three of voices? Is this the person that hurt them or is this uh, someone from the past? Oh, okay, yeah, someone who hurt you. Um, so, uh, let me see. We have the Queen of Inspiration. Now that's the Queen of Wands. Feisty, confident, self-assured, Leo energy there. Um, I feel like uh, you're. whenever you get this card, especially when it comes to love, Sag, um, there's an energy that um, you're very attractive right now to a lot of people, male or female. Um, and I feel very much like um, it's because you know your worth. You have a uh, strong self-esteem. It's taken you a while to get there. I feel like um, you're confident in your skin um, after a time of feeling maybe a little bit doubtful or you know self-doubt there. Uh, so I feel like you're radiating. Uh, again, male or female, not a gender-specific reading. Um, they just give me one word and I can't, they're just saying spooky. So I don't know what that's meant to mean. Uh, well, I know what it means, but I don't know why they're saying it. So either your nickname is spooky or um, you just said spooky to somebody or something like that, or someone you've been talking to uh, just said that word. Uh, please take it as it resonates. It's kind of just suspending there in the air with me right now. I don't know how to read it. So um, anyway, uh, let's move on. Uh, the Knight of Voices indicates there is someone coming towards you who... Um, it's like a life-changing kind of love. This person is someone who takes action, who's going to come towards you, try and sweep you off your feet. And I feel like um, this person is, uh, you know, above any obstacles. This person, um, I feel, they want to come on in and sort of um, tell you how they feel. But the thing is, I feel like they're going to tell you that they're changing their life because I feel like this is someone from your past returning. There's some sort of change of life style there but we got the three of swords in the upright and the strength card this person i mean this person broke your heart and they tend to sabotage connections this is someone who uh i feel has low self-esteem and often sabotages connections okay um so i'm not sure if you're i'm just going to see what you let me see what their intentions are what is this person from the past intentions how would you like to receive thank you so much Muse of voices. They want to tell you how they feel. Okay, this person's Gemini energy. Um, this person's been thinking about you a lot. 
and I feel like uh, this person, this is the King of Swords uh, energy there, just so you're aware. Um, this person, uh, they just, they want to tell you how they feel. They're changing their life. And um, although um, they tend to sabotage connections, this person at least wants to tell you the truth. Okay? They, they've been thinking about you a lot. I feel like that's what they're going to tell you, that they've been thinking about you a lot. And they're making some lifestyle changes. And every time that they think about love or opening up to someone, they think about you. Okay? Um, I'm not sure. They're indicating this is someone that um, you may have had a lot of time for in the past. Uh, can you please guide my beautiful Sagittarius? Is this someone that they had a relationship with or that it was a friendship? Uh, can you please... Is this someone that they had a relationship with in the past or it was a friendship? A sun card. Uh, this was someone that there was, uh, well, I feel from this card, they're giving me, uh, this, there was love there. There was a happy, very happy time between you and this person. Could have been a Leo, okay? Um, because they keep giving me Leo energy here. This is someone who had a bit of an ego though, just so you're aware. Um, and I feel like, I don't know why they're giving this to me. You and this person liked avocados. <laughs> That's what they're giving me, avocados. Uh, you both kind of liked it or had some sort of funny conversation about avocados. I mean, I don't know how you can make avocado be a funny thing, but uh, that's what they're giving me. Um, okay. Uh, what is what is my beautiful Sag feeling about this? What would they feel about this? Ace of Inspiration. Oh, I feel like um, that you are thinking about new passion. I feel like uh, you're thinking about calling in somebody new. You'd be interested to hear from this person. It might be exciting to talk to them for a moment, but I feel with the Ace of Inspiration, which is an Ace of Wands, Aces bring new. So I feel like you want a new passion there. I feel like you're a forward only kind of person. And I feel like there is someone new coming on in to talk to you. That's why you will have options. Okay. Um, that's interesting. They're showing me. It's so weird. What they're showing me is crazy okay i'll show you because this is what they're showing me um they're showing me that there's two cactuses there i don't know if the plural for cactus is cacti maybe i'm not sure uh but anyway we got cactus a cactus there and there um and they're indicating that even in dry arid land even when there is a problem you know um there is no nourishment or no opportunity around for love you're going to find it Okay, because I just got this energy of how am I going to find love even in a pandemic? And they're showing me these little, they look like, they look like the, the virus spores. <laughs> it's almost like even in, you know, a time of that, there's going to be, I'm going to really show you up close. Okay, because as soon as I looked at them, they actually showed me the diagram that's been on the news and everything. So I'm getting a connection. It's almost like even in the current circumstances, you're still going to find someone new and passionate to talk to. Okay, so please don't give up there. Um, there's definitely someone new coming on in. Wonderful energy. Uh, they've asked me to go one more, so I will. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Sagittarius? What do they need to know? Thank you so much. Temperance. Don't be impatient. Okay, Sag? Everything happens in divine order. Um, oh, thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Uh, they're also indicating... Um, someone doing up their shoelaces. So if that is you, there's something in this message for you. Again, it's not going to speak to everybody. Uh, but if that is you, then there's something here for you. They just said only the one more. They mean shuffle. How would you like to see? Thank you so much. Okay. Um, we got the awakening card. It's in the reverse here. Um, don't fear the changes. Okay. Don't fear the changes is what they're giving me. Don't have self-doubt. Um, even if you feel like there was a blockage or stagnation here or you were rejected from something, there's going to be happiness. Don't fear the changes. So they just keep saying, don't fear the changes. This is overall, this is not just towards love. Don't fear the changes. They're meant to happen for a reason. Uh, surrender to the process, okay? They want me to leave it there. So wonderful opportunity coming your way. Um, oh, how weird. I thought I'd finish with this deck and they want one more from this deck, so. What they said was, their exact words were, we haven't talked about the money. So maybe you've got a contract waiting in the wings. Have faith. We got the nine of air. Um, 
and eight of air release denial don't fear this again it's and they just said we haven't talked about the money so either you've got a contract waiting in the wings or a job opportunity lined up and they haven't talked about the money for you yet don't worry about it have faith all will be well don't have any negative talk don't be you know um if you've had a bit of a, a call um, you know, a, dis a test of faith recently, don't be negative because they're indicating that everything's going to uh, fall into place nicely as long as you trust yourself, have confidence, and uh, don't overthink it. The eight of air is a self-imposed restriction. It's about our fear getting in the way. They don't want you to fear this. Don't fear the changes. So again, they're just sort of nailing home a, a, a point. Okay, we'll move on. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Sagittarians? What do they need to know? We have perception. Ooh. And we also have gratitude. Okay, so they're indicating here perception. Okay. Um, so again, it's an energy of, you know, whatever made you sad or whatever uh, you feel like you rejected from or was not going well and made you unhappy, um, you know, the, all it takes is one, you're one step away from it all turning in, in your favor, to, you know, completely turning uh, around there because they are indicating after an unhappy time, there is a positive time. We have ups and downs in life. It's about perception. It's like the drama, okay? And again... There's this thing about the mask. Someone, the mask is off. So either this is a person in the past. Um, yeah, please take it as it resonates. We got gratitude there. Uh, they're just saying Polly, Polly. So if your name is Polly or um, that is someone that you resonate with is Polly. Could be in spirit, could be uh, a friend of yours. It could be an ex-love. It could be an ex-partner from work or something like that. Please take it as it resonates. It's not going to resonate for everyone. I mean, it could be a place, but I feel more it's a name. Um, we've got gratitude there. Now, if you're thinking about buying your home, uh, buying a new home or buying a home, your first home there, um, I feel like you're going to have a really strong opportunity to do so in the next year and a half. They're indicating before uh, it's going to be within that time period. It's going to be very, very exciting. I feel like you've already started. You've got the ball rolling. You've got the ball rolling, okay? Uh, things are blossoming. Uh, all the universe is asking of you, Sag, is gratitude. Don't forget to thank the universe, okay? Which I can't imagine you ever would, but they're just giving me that there. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Great Angels. What do my beautiful Sagittarians need to know regarding um, this reading for the time period I've set? Mid-April, mid right through to mid... No. I'm so sorry. They just said no. And my wrist kind of like... I did an injury on my wrist, uh, like, the beginning of last year. And really occasionally, just really, just clicks out for no reason. So I do apologize. That was my energy that that happened. Um, no. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Great Angels. Anything for my beautiful sad? What do they need to know? Thank you so much. New life. And it even had a bit an about turn. There's an awakening here, okay? Don't fight the changes. Don't, they're really indicating there's a wonderful new uh, sort of lifestyle opening up here for you, both in terms of love and career. Uh, we've got a pillar here. You're being raised up. There's uh, This figure just looks like they've come out of an egg there. So wonderful new life there. And they're just, you know, finding their feet, stretching. It's number 39. When you reduce it, 3 plus 9 is 12. You've waited a long time for this. And as I said, during that downtime, if you felt like you were procrastinating uh, with that hangman energy, you were actually calling in new opportunities because of what you were thinking about. So here is the change, okay? The stars are aligning for this new life for you. It's very positive. Exactly. They just said trust. Trust. Okay. Uh, we have birth of new ideas, growth, opportunities, a breath of fresh air, life renewing itself. And um, I'll read you the relationship message and the prosperity message just because we got both there. New energy enters old relationships and new relationships are bursting with the sweetness and vibrancy only encountered when winter gives way to spring. This is a time to connect with others and share excitement, passion and hearts full of joy. This card is a very auspicious sign with respect to love and partnerships in all forms. I just want to clarify, you know, there is a relationship coming here for you. Okay, the two of water indicates there is partnership, a long term commitment coming on in here. Could be a water element because I feel strongly that they've got water in their chart. But this is a romantic love that goes the distance. Okay, very, very harmonious 
um, someone who meets you halfway, okay? Uh, also, the prosperity message is, you have every right to be optimistic right now as things seem to fall into place magically. New opportunities remind you that abundance is available to you. Delight in the bounty that begins to appear in surprising forms. As I said, it's going to show up in unexpected ways, right? Um, stay curious and know that your hopes and dreams are being fulfilled. It is as if a new life suddenly infuses your projects, your work, and creative ideas with a kind of electricity that cackles with exciting potential. Maybe that's why we got that spark right in there. Um, and it says, a fortune is smiling on you. Wonderful. I love that energy, Sag. Uh, also, you know, it just said here, um, all you have to do is remain curious. And that's where you got the full card, to remain curious about the way ahead. Okay, open yourself up to taking that leap of faith. Um, so wonderful energy there, my beautiful Sag. I'm just going to give you a trinket before we close. Thank you so much for it, guys. Thank you. Um, Thank you. I don't know why, but they just said David Crockett. I mean, it makes no sense, Davy Crockett. Maybe it's a, that's about adventure. Um, I, I mean, all I'm thinking of, and this sounds this sounds like it makes no sense, but raccoon hat. I don't know what that is. So either you got a, a hat with a raccoon on it. I'm not sure. I'm just going to leave that image there because I don't want to. Uh, I don't know what it means. But anyway, we got the crown. Beautiful energy. Crown chakra activated. Uh, they just said, look at the card, look at the card. And they are right. Look at that. We got a crown there and we got the crown there. You're going to have a lot to be grateful for, okay? Uh, this new life, this new abundance um, has been activated. The crown chakra is a deep knowing energy, okay? Uh, if you're thinking about being an entrepreneur, this is a very, very auspicious sign that you're going to be very, very successful, okay? Uh, and they actually want this on the full card. So um, feel the fear, do it anyway, whatever it is, uh, your intuition will lead you in the right direction. You can do it, Sag. We've also got music, uh, the guitar there. So this is about spiritually ascending to a higher vibration um, and tuning in to the vibrations there. You may be using things like music to elevate your uh, emotions or your frequency there, uh, but they are indicating that there is a potential for partnership as well because they're showing me two stars on uh, this guitar. So maybe you're a creative person and you're partnering up with someone in terms of music, maybe a band or something, or uh, it's a creative collaboration there. Um, I feel like there's an opportunity to stay single in terms of work as well as in a partnership. So, uh, you know, it's your choice. We all have free will. Uh, they actually want this on the uh, full card also. Okay, but there's going to be a lot of success here. Uh, you know, you're after success. You're, you're moving forward. There, there's no stagnancy here. And I feel like it's going to be an awesome time for you, Sag. Very positive energy. Okay, I will leave that there. I hope something resonated in this reading for you. If it did, please like or subscribe to my channel. Completely free for you. All you have to do is press the little bell. That's important because it lets you know when I update my next message. It lets me know that you resonate with this reading, which is very, very important for me. Also, right now they're showing me some cheese, but it's got holes in it. So it's either like Swiss cheese or something like that. Um, if you're eating some sort of cheese that's got holes in it, then there's something in this message for you. It's not going to resonate for everyone, of course. Um, so I will leave that there. Thank you so much, my beautiful Sag. Love and light.